This is how you analyze the accelerometer data. Looking here at the graphical version, uh, we'll see that the acceleration occurred in the y direction. So basically that's the long axis of the phone. Uh, just like in a, a XY graph, Y would be up and down. On a phone, it's also that same way. All right, my phone is, imagine my phone is shaped like a rectangle. This is Y. And so here's the Y direction. I have my phone facing bottom first, which is why these collision values are negative because it was going down towards the bottom of the phone. So the way you're going to analyze your data is you're going to look for where the Y values are negative. So I'll give you an example of what that looks like in just a moment. But first, you also have, excuse me, you also have this graph. And so this shows three different colors, yellow, green, and red. Yellow and green are for the X direction and the Z direction. The, the red color is for the Y direction. And we're looking for the Y direction or the red in the negative direction and we're trying to find the collision in there. So on this example it's pretty obvious. This is where I slammed it into the wall. It's a very quick collision so the graph is very narrow. Um, if you had a slow collision it would be wider and also it was a very s severe acceleration. Almost uh, eight times the uh, magnitude of gravity, its gravitational acceleration itself. So pretty tough. Uh, so that is our spike from our collision. And this is what I would measure to figure out the acceleration. I could look at this. This was part of your homework. This looks like it's about 77. And we can go over here and, and compare that with this. And there it is. So how do we find your information since yours isn't a collision with a wall? Yours generally takes more time. Well, let's go over here and let's take a look at one. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's take a look at Lauren's. All right, so there we go. So we can see where is the collision? Is it here? Is it there? No, those are in the positive direction. It's here. And if you look closely, you can actually see that there is some space on the left and the right there, so the collision took a little bit of time. If you want to figure out how much time it took, we can go over to Lauren's data table. And we can look at where the data is negative. So notice here it's positive. This is where the collision starts, where it becomes negative. So something happened here. Then there was something more severe here, less severe, more severe, less severe, less severe, less severe, less, 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 until we get to zero. So basically we're looking for data in between where it's positive and again positive. And this whole time where it's negative, that's the collision. So between 0.1596 seconds and... 0.1806 seconds, that's the time for Lauren's collision. So she could find the difference between those two times. That'd be the time for her collision. Uh, she could take <clears throat> the acceleration and use that for her lab as well. All right, the, the peak acceleration, that's what we're looking at. So that's, uh, that's how you can, you can access your data. You can also analyze this. You can look at this. If if the acceleration is all spread out, and I say these were all eight, 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 maybe it was two, four, six, eight, 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 six, four, two, zero, then that'd be an an, a collision where the um, where everything was, the forces were spread out, right? A gradual slowdown. If you have something where there's a spike, then that's less gradual, more severe, more abrupt, less time. And remember what less time in a collision means. It means more force. So you can think about that when you're analyzing your data. Some of you have multiple pages of this because your collision took a really long time. So you have to look at all those pages and find where it's positive, where it's all negative, and then where it's positive again. Hope that helps.